Hello lovely friends, thank you so much for being here today. There was a sneak peek of the colours and today I've got a travelling cup. It's very vibrant colours and it takes the form of a heart. So happy International Women's Day to all the incredible women in my life and in your lives. And a very happy Mother's Day for Sunday for my beautiful mum and for all those who are celebrating Mother's Day. I wanted to do something a bit different today to celebrate the amazing women who inspire me every single day. As I poured the colours onto the canvas today through this travelling cup, I just thought about the journey with all the amazing women I have the privilege of knowing. My mum, my gran, my auntie, my mum-in-law and all my amazing friends and mentors. Women who are doctors, teachers, artists, entrepreneurs, mothers, daughters, aunties. Big shout out to you all today. So I want to say thank you to Aishu who suggested I pop on today's collab. I usually just release a video on Fridays. So it was nice to be able to celebrate with three other lovely women. So the colour palette today is two reds two oranges, a blue, a white and a gold. And just before I talk you through the colours, I just want to say thank you Aishu. You're a lovely friend, you're an incredible crafter and anybody listening who has children, go and have a look at her channel. She has the most amazing crafts and designs. Every week she comes up with something new and exciting. Following Aishu was Donna, by its art by Donna. She is a beautiful friend and she's got such a wealth of knowledge in so many different crafts. So go and have a look at her channel and see what exciting things she's got for us today. And after me, we've got Louise McKay Art. She's also a lovely friend and incredible artist. So I'm excited to see what she's created. So as we look at these colours, and the layering of the paints into this traveling cup. I just want to explain for those who haven't seen before how I created this cup. So it's a huge bottle and I've just shaved off the top third of the bottle and I quite like the narrow spout because when you feed the paint in it falls into the middle and just a little bit around the sides and it allows the paint to be dispersed in a different way to the cup that would be a wider spout. The lovely thing about experimenting with traveling cups is you can have longer, wider, deeper, shallower, um, thinner spouts, wider spouts. It's all traveling cups, but everyone's different. So there's the two reds there. There's a very slight difference in color, but not a huge amount on first appearance, but it does make a difference. So we've got some primary colors, reds, the oranges, blue, the gold axe is a bit of a yellow. It's a very bright gold. And we've got a tiny bit of white. When I use these colors together, the reds and oranges, I always choose a different blue and I get a different rainbow hue. So that's why all the colours are so vibrant today. So have a look now as the cup is going down really, really slowly across the paint, revealing the oranges, a gold, a tiny bit of blue there. Even at this point, you can see a little bit of green as well. So I'm now going to use the palette knife after getting rid of the bubbles. I'm just going to encourage some of the paint to come up from underneath. One of the lovely things about using a palette knife is when you're encouraging the paint and you go deeper into the, the base pillow, you can pick up different colours and you never know what's going to come up. So today I knew there were going to be a few colours that I wasn't expecting. So I was just playing with the palette knife and watching to see what was going to come up. So I've got a couple more swipes here and I'm just going to add the rest of the base pillow paint and I'm going to stretch it out. Now at this point I couldn't see the heart 
and I was wondering what was going to pop up out of this today. I wanted something vibrant. I didn't know a heart was going to appear, but it appeared really, really quickly. So after applying the base pillow paint, which I find such a relaxing part of the process, I then tilt it just to get rid of some of the excess, but also to even the paint out. So when it dries, you don't have the problem of cracking and it drives more evenly and it settles more quickly. Okay. So now I'm going to be tilting the colours and as soon as I start tilting you'll be able to see other colours appearing because as you stretch the paint out the other colours are mixing. Can you see the blue at the top and some green down below. Now at this stage I can almost see a bird, a golden dove. Can you see that on the bottom? And then as I begin to tilt the canvas, I'll be interested to know if you can see the heart and at what point you can see it, because I can now, watching it back, I can see the heart appearing. Can you? So what I'm doing at this point is I'm seeing a design and I don't want to lose it. I want to keep a lot of the colour on the canvas and keep some negative space at the same time. So can you see on the top right hand side now, the blue part of the heart, the heart's upside down, can you see it there? And you can see all the different greens coming through and the orange and red beginning to blend. If I could have divided this canvas into two, I'd have kept that left hand side and I'd have stretched that into the red a bit more. But I was beginning to see the heart on the right hand side. And there's something that happened with these very heavy bodied paints. When you get golden, they're very heavy bodied and you don't have to use too much of them in order for them to go so far. And the reaction of these really good quality rich paints with our teaser and the Pebio um, and the Amsterdam. Yeah, did it, did it really good justice. So can you see it now? On the middle of the painting, there's a bit of green there and the red part of the hearts appeared. What I loved about this and why this spoke to me as a heart is there was a formation of what seemed like connective tissue and it just fit so well that this would be the shape of a heart and the indicator of blood running through the heart and it just made me feel like the heart was really alive and it felt really vibrant and really fitting for today. So I'm now going to just give the heart at the top a gentle bit of form and just enjoy the music for a moment and I'll bring you back for a close up shortly. She was looking at you, thought you were looking at me, turns out I was wrong, you said I wasn't but agree to disagree she tells me all of these things about how you are so sweet but i know because you said the same things to me she swept off her feet
sense now Since we had that falling out Things haven't been the same I miss you What's that all about? You probably don't think about me I never crossed your mind I wish that wasn't true She still swept off her feet And I still can't breathe Cause when you're staring at her I'm comparing because she isn't me I guess I didn't qualify I guess I wasted my time Cause I couldn't be I guess I didn't qualify I guess I wasted my time Cause I couldn't beat her if I tried I hope you're Just check it in See how your world's spinning Our vertical liquids God speaks no matter what It's the Vibrant Heart all completed and I hope you've enjoyed it today. This colour palette is one of my favourites. I'm definitely going to be playing with it more. And I just want to say to you that every single one of you holds a special place in my heart. You inspire me with your courage, your resilience, kindness and unwavering support. There are so many people in this community that I'm so grateful to know. Um, and you challenge me to be a better person and to make the world a brighter place. So I hope that I affect your life in a positive way too. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, check out I Issue for my Issue Crafty Kids Club. It's art by Donna and Louise McKay Art. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you have a good day ahead. And I hope you enjoy whatever you do. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care now. Lots of love. Bye.